Hey there stampers, happy catalog launch day. My name is Sherry Roth, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Alberta, Canada. And I am excited to be here today to share a quick little catalog tour, a few samples and my top picks from the 2023-24 annual catalog. All right, let me just update my iPad here. Okay. All right, so I am super excited about this catalog. This is always one of my favorite times of the year when a brand new catalog comes out, um, especially when it's a color refresh and there's a whole bunch of new colors, including the in colors, just so many new products to play with and so much inspiration. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you've got a catalog, then feel free to pull it out and follow along with me. Um, because I'm going to point out a few things that you may have missed. Um, I'm going to share a few samples, a few events that I've got planned. Oh, thanks for sharing, Beth. Um, a few events that I've got coming up using some of the products from in here. And then I've got some samples as well. All right. So, well, let's talk about the cover. I've got to say that this is not my favorite cover that Stampin' Up! has come out with. But... Um, I love, I do love the samples. So let's say that, but the back on the other hand, like this would have made a gorgeous cover. Don't you think? Like this is absolutely stunning. Okay, I apologize if you can hear some noise in the background. The street sweepers are sweeping our street right now and I've got my window open because it's a beautiful day outside. All right, now we open it up and we've got some more samples featuring this beautiful new Daisy Bundle that we've got, which you'll see coming up here. All right, good morning, Denise. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Beth. Okay, and then we'll flip. All right, here we've got the table of contents. Um, and I'm pointing this out because I wanna point out that there's 10 new suites in this annual catalog. Um, so sweets include uh, usually a bundle. Um, oh, I can hear myself talk. Let's turn the sound off here. Okay, they usually include a bundle, a pattern paper, and then some other coordinating product. Sometimes it's an embellishment. There's a, a suite in here that includes an embossing folder. Um, sometimes it's a couple spools of ribbon, so it's various things, but it's a collection of products that Stampin' Up! has put together to make it easy and you are able to order it with one product number or you can pick and choose the, okay, my screen just froze. I want to make sure that, okay, I think we're good. All right, um, so you can order it with one product number or you can pick and choose the products from that suite to order and some local demonstrators and I are getting together on June 17th for our first Creative Carnival catalog launch. So if you are local or in the kind of Edmonton area and want to make a little trip of it, we would love to have you. Each one of us is focusing on one of these suites. So we'll have a full table of products on display, so the products that are part of the suite. So you'll get to see the paper in person, which makes a huge difference. We'll have tons of samples created using products in the suite. Um, there'll be some make and takes. It's gonna be a super, super fun day. So that is the Creative Carnival on June 17th. You can head on over to my blog on the events page. There's details on that. So that is coming up featuring these 10 suites. Um, and then I wanna point out these catalog icons. And I point these out every time because there are some fun little nuggets of information um, all spread out throughout the catalog. So this one means, well, first of all, this one means that it, it's a new product. This one means it's quick and easy. So those projects you could put together in a snap. This means that the product is compatible with the mini machine. And by the way, I just want to point out that if you've had your eye on that boho blue mini stamp and cut and emboss, um, that is available to customers now while supplies last. And then this one tells us that it's one of our distinctive stamps. Um, this one tells us that it's a reversible stamp. This one tells us that it was designed by a million dollar achiever. 
And then these markings show that the stamp sets are also available in English, Spanish, or French, okay? All right, don't worry, I'm not gonna flip through every single page. There's just a few things at the beginning here that I wanna point out. Um, okay, here. Now, not only do we have products in our annual catalog, I just wanted to remind you that we do still have some online exclusives. So if you check the online store and go under online exclusives, you'll find some products that are not shown in any of our publications. So um, some of the products from the previous annual catalog, the one that just retired yesterday, um, some of those products carried over but they are not shown in this annual catalog, they are shown as online exclusives. So just remember that those are available. The other thing that is online is, and that we talk a little bit more about this on page 12, is our kit collection. So they give a little snapshot of a few kits here, but there is um, a lot more extensive collection of kits available um, on the kits collection page on the website. Okay, so I wanted to remind you guys of that. Here, this page just talks about the types of stamps that we have. Um, we've got photopolymer, we've got cling, and then we've got distinctive stamps, we've got two-step stamps, and we've got reversible stamps. So, um, and then just, re just a reminder that those little icons will tell you what kind of stamp those are. Okay, all right. And then we've got our color. So I don't know what you drew you into Stampin' Up, but it was the color and the color coordination that drew me to Stampin' Up. And I love a color refresh here because it's nice to just switch things up and it truly is a refresh. Um, so I'm super excited about some of the new colors that were introduced. I love the new in colors, which leads me to share a little peek at those five new in colors. So here we've got copper clay, we've got boho blue, let's slide these over so we have enough room here, moody mauve, pebbled path, and wild wheat. These colors are just so fun. Last year the in colors were bright and bold and fun and cheerful, which is great, but it was, I was so happy to see the, the difference in the in colors this year. These are so on trend, they're beautiful, they're a bit more muted, love, love, love these colors. So you will definitely be seeing lots of these colors coming up. All right, let's bring back the catalog. Okay, and then on here it just talks about some of like the sweet collections, which we talked a lot about a little bit more color coordination, how we've got punches and dies to coordinate with our stamps, um, kit collection, paper pumpkin. So we've got a subscription kit if that's something you're interested in. And then we get into the meat and potatoes of our catalog. Um, so this is one of the sweets. This is called Bright and Beautiful. So remember I said that a sweet, um, consists of patterned paper, a bundle. So this one, it happens to be a stamp set and a die. And then the extra product is some specialty paper. This is actually like window printed window sheets. Um, it's called Gold Celebrations Specialty Designer Series Paper. It's not paper though. It's like a window sheet consistency. Okay, so you can you can order these items individually or there is a product number over here where it says sweet collection and just using one product number, you can and order the entire thing. Okay, um, and you will see some things coming up with this. My June Color Club will be using this bundle and some of the colors from this paper, but not all of them because the whole point of the Color Club is to kind of come up with some fun new color combinations. So that will be in June. So the I'm hoping to have the information for that up on my events page by the end of today, if not tomorrow. Um, you will also see a scrapbook class coming up using this collection because it's so fun and everybody's got celebrations to, to document. And this isn't just for birthdays. So think about graduations, think about all, all the different types of things that you celebrate. 
Um, and then this is also the collection that I'm focusing on for the Creative Carnival. So my display will feature all of these products and I've already started designing it and it has been so fun to play with. Okay, so that's the first one. And then this one, I kind of overlooked this. Yes, you know what? These images are adorable, but I just came back from a crafting retreat and my mom happened to have this paper. So I asked her if I could see it. And thankfully she had an extra package because I played with it a little bit over the weekend. And let me just share the paper with you because, oh my gosh, it is adorable. So there's two sheets of six different designs. Um, the back sides, let me share the back sides first. The back sides are all black and white. So of course that gives you the flexibility. You can color in these flowers. You can do some ink blending on here. Um, you could stamp over top. You could color in these little images. So black and white is always really good. But it is this side that is the star of the show. Each one of these papers kind of has almost like a theme. So this particular one is kind of outdoors. So we've got, we've got some trees. We've got this little, I don't know if this is a beaver. It might be a beaver catching with a net, catching butterflies. We've got a skunk with some binoculars. We've got a lion roasting marshmallows over a campfire. We've got a pig hiking with a backpack on it. Like how cute are these? And then this one is kind of a dance theme. So we've got hippos and I don't know if this is a meerkat and a leopard. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm getting the animals wrong. A sheep, like they've all got little tutus on. So cute. And then this one is a musical theme. So we've got a turtle that is singing and we've got a beaver playing the bongos and a frog playing the flute. Like it's just, they're just so cute. And then this one, I call this one the home one or the, the hobby one because you can see that, okay, so the I think this is an antelope, is cooking, the bear is reading a book, the llama is knitting, um, the sloth is meditating, uh, the, what would this be, porcupine maybe, is painting, like they're just so, so cute. And then this one's all about celebrations. So we've got an elephant holding up a banner, a raccoon holding balloons, a koala bear a juggling cupcakes. And then I think this is the last, yeah, this is the last one. And this one's kind of like, um, I don't know, movement kind of wheels, transportation kind of focus. So we've got an alligator riding a bike. We've got a fox on a scooter or, or a bunny on a scooter, a fox on a, like a Vespa. Um, we've got an ostrich on roller, roller skates, like just so, so cute. And each one of these patterns has a die that will cut out one of the images, but the rest do need to be fussy cut. So I just want to point that out. Um, but super, super cute paper. And that I completely missed that. Oh, I forgot to share this sample using the bun the birthday bundle. So at the retreat this weekend, I gave everyone these bottle cap things. I always give them some kind of challenge to create to create something with. And so this is what I did with mine. So I used some of the birthday celebration paper and then I stamped some balloons, used some coordinating ribbon and then stamped a greeting on there. So this will probably go on one of my tiered trays when I celebrate for ber celebrate birthdays in our house. Okay. So this is definitely something that you want to take a, a closer look at because I did not look very closely, but the paper is super cute. Okay, now one of my top picks for the, this annual catalog is so very different from my normal style. I, I don't know what it is about this bird's eye view on page 48. I don't know if it's the chunky birds, if it's the glasses or the stack of books because I love to read. I just adore this stamp set. I think it is just so cute. I mean, look at this. And this card, this is one of my favorite samples in this catalog. I just love it. I love how they're colored. I love the colors. I love the frames. It really is such a cute, cute set. And then this one is pretty cute as well. Okay, next up, let's go to the next page. Okay, this one here. 
I think this is, well, this, these dies are going to be super popular, but I wanted to point out that this particular stamp is like a background stamp. So it's all one stamp. So each one of the, like, I thought that each one of these was its own stamp and they just kind of nested in each other, but it's all one stamp. Okay, so you'd have to, if you only wanted one of them, you'd have to use markers and kind of ink around. Um, the dies are nested dies, so um, those come separately. So you can stamp it all and then you can, you, you can cut them all out individually if you want. All right, but I just wanted to point that out because I know a lot of people thought that they came separate. And one of my friends, my friend Donna, she actually, when she got hers, she cut them apart. So she created... One, two, three, four, five, six. She ended up with six individual stamps because she just used an X-Acto knife and kind of cut in between each of them. So that is an option, okay? So I wanted to point that out. All right, another top pick for me is on page 67, the Timeless Arrangements Bundle. So it doesn't look like much, but um, there's some great greetings in here. There's some, you know, kind of generic kind of images but it's the dies that really can make a project stand out. Like, look at this sample. That is all done using the dies. So, and the dies have these little strips on them so that it makes it easy. Oh, you can't see here. Let me move it up. So it makes it easier. Oh, <laughs> I still can't see it. Okay, we're close here. Okay, here we go. So they've got these little strips. So this is all one die. So it's easy to kind of layer them to create this full kind of collage -y look in behind, a, you know, a greeting. I, I love this one. This is what, this is the set or the bundle that we're using at this month's color club on Friday. Um, and the cards are absolutely stunning. Okay. Next up, we've got... Um, this inked botanicals suite on page 94 and 95. I mean, there's lots of good stuff in between here, but I'm not going to do a, like an individual, individual page catalog or flip through. I don't want to put you through that. But this, my friend Donna and I have a, a virtual creative escape or creative retreat that we are planning. Um, it's going to be virtual, so it'll be offered to anybody worldwide. And we're going to spend a day working with this collection. So there will be tons of project inspiration using this bundle. And the reason we chose this bundle, first of all, is because it's six by six paper. So sometimes that can prove to be a challenge. So this will be a combination of scrapbook projects and card making projects. But also because there, it's a two punch bundle. So you get a stamp set, which is fabulous, by the way, and two punches. So it's going to be super, super fun to come up with projects using this. So you can look forward to that. That is on June 24th. And again, more information will be posted on my blog, um, hopefully later on today or tomorrow. All right, next up, we've got the Fresh as a Daisy Bundle. And I had to point this one out because I've got lots of things coming up using this one. This was something that was available as a pre-order. And yes, that's right, Beth. I love how those two punches can tile together. They work together. They can layer really nicely, but they can also be used on their own. All right, so this month's class to go, Laura and I are focusing on this bundle. Here's a little peek at three of the projects. And this class was just released today, so you can find more information on my blog. So we've got that one and that one and that one. So that's three of the six, those are three of the six projects that we'll be making in this month's class to go. All the information can be found on my blog. Um, deadline is, deadline to register is May 10th, okay? And then I'm doing a scrapbook carnival. Well, I'm kind of prepping for a scrapbook carnival, but I'm not going to physically be there at the end of May. And this is one of the kits that we will have offered. So this is, and move my coffee out of the way here. So I know you guys can't see the whole thing, but this is going to be one of the kits that we have, that we're offering available for purchase. We'll have lots of different kit options 
for you, whether you're a scrapbooker or a card maker. Um, and I will be posting more information on those kits and make them available to anybody um, if you are not local and can't make it, okay? All right, let's see, next up. Okay, so next up we've got, we're gonna skip to the back. So here, of course, we've got all of, you know, the colors and all the products that are available in those colors. But I wanna skip back and point out a new tool. So this is on page 145. Up at the top here, number nine, this is the Take Your, Take Your Pick Tool Crafters Tips. <laughs> And it includes, so your take your pick tool, this is what your take your pick tool looks like, right? And you know that the tips can come off. So they've come out with three new tips. So there's a hobby blade or an X-Acto knife. There's a perforating tool, which I have all these ideas for when I get mine. And then these I think are pins. They call them pick tip, pick tips, but I think they're pins. All right, so that is available, or that is new. Now there are two items that are not yet in stock, okay? They're delayed, and unfortunately that is one of them, as well as, let me find it here. That oh, might be back further. So they're just delayed in getting here. These scallop gift card boxes on page 126. So those are the only two items out of all of the pro new products in the catalog that are not available at the moment just because they're a little bit delayed. But I will let you know when they become available. All right, so now, of course, we've got some great punch bundles, some new punches. I love that we came out with another circle punch. You can never have enough circle punches. Um, and then we've got some great dies. And Stampin' Up! does... Uh, or bundles, sorry. Stampin' Up! does such a great job at highlighting the bundles in the catalog, but I like to immediately flip back to the standalone dies. Now, some of these dies that are shown in the back doesn't mean that th they're pictured here because they aren't available to purchase as a bundle anymore, but they still have stamps that coordinate with them. But there are several that are standalone. And those are, that's always the first thing I look for when I get a new catalog is, okay, tell me what dies are new that are standalone that don't have a stamp set because I know that those are going to be the ones that are missed. So I've got, I think three or four of them that I absolutely love. So on my order that I placed this morning, I ordered these paper florist dies. So these are dies that cut all sorts of pieces to create flowers like this. So you better believe that there's gonna be a project coming up with using those flowers. Now, some of these are from the Daisy dies, but these other ones are from this die set. Love, love, love this die set. Um, another great one is, let me check my notes here, this Nested Essentials. I always love nested dies. So that will definitely be something that I order down the road. This patchwork pieces. This is another fun one. Like I can just envision all sorts of colors um, and just patterns and just having lots of fun with that. So that will be something I order down the road. Unfortunately, if money wasn't an issue, it would have been on my order this morning, but had to pick and choose. All right, on my order this morning was these Wanted to Say dies, another standalone set, and I love word dies, love word dies. So there's these great, there's sayings, feel better soon, and you can use this one on its own, or you can add it on top of the, the thicker one that kind of mats it. There's happy birthday, there's celebrate, and you're too kind. And then there's a couple kind of, you know, a floral image, a heart, some stars, and I think this is a bow. Um, so that is another great standalone one. I think there's a few other standalone ones in there, but those are the, those are the few that really jumped out at me. And then, um, embossing folders. Um, so there's lots that carried over. There are several new ones. 
this embossed brick embossing folder looks absolutely stunning. It's got this kind of distressed look with some kind of rough brick. It, it acts, it looks amazing. So that is one that I wanted to point out. And then we're going to finish off by talking. Oh, you know what? I have some more samples to share. Well, I'll, we'll finish the catalog and then I'll go back to some samples. I wanted to talk about the host exclusive sets. So you can either host a Stampin' Up! workshop um, in person or virtual. And if you hit at least $200 in sales, then you can qualify for something called Stampin' Rewards. Or if your order is large enough when you order online or through me, if your order is over $200, you also qualify for Stampin' Rewards. Um, and that is the only way that you can purchase these items. So there is Calm and Quiet. So these are on page 172. And there's Night of Flight. And I really, really like these. Initially, I thought they were butterflies, but I think they're moths. Um, well, I guess that would make sense. Night of Flight, right? Um, so I think that's kind of fun and something a little bit different. All right. So that is a quick tour of the catalog. Hopefully I pointed out a few things that you hadn't noticed yet. Um, now, some of the samples that I forgot to share with you as we were going through, I'm just going to pull up this bundle. Okay, where was it? This one, okay. So this bundle here, this also has, this suite has an embossing folder. So this was a card created by my friend Donna. She used the embossing folder in the background. And then she used the stamp and the die. So that's the detail around the edges. And then this is the die. And she used a carryover stamp set for the center. So isn't that beautiful? But these, I think these dies are going to be incredibly popular. And you don't necessarily need the stamp set in order to use the dies. All right, and then I have lots of samples using the Zoo Crew. Um, yeah, this Zoo Crew bundle. So let me slide the catalog away. And these were all created by my friend Kathy. So here is a fun one. And this is a this is a different kind of fold here. So, well, I guess it's not really a different fold, but a different card front. So she's got three different panels and then with the DSP behind. And then you could just either write on this side or you could even put out a piece of white, you know, kind of underneath where these pieces are so that you have some space to write in. So super cute. This is the DSP. She cut the images from that. And then this is a set of cards. So she created this little um, little box and then some cards. There were a couple others, but I'm sharing those to share. I'm saving those to share another day. So this is the box that she did. She used the, the black and white paper and she maybe ink blended it. It's hard to tell if she ink blended or colored it with blends. Um, but then the sloth, look at that sloth, so cute. And then we've got this one with a watercolor wash background. This one was stamped and then die cut and colored with blends. And then look at this one. She used that dots um, die, I can't remember, spots and dots or something like that. But she weaved strips of ribbon through the dots or strips of ribbon and then also strips of cardstock through the dots. And then this is stamped and colored in with blends. And then here, do you remember a few weeks ago, I shared a quick and easy shaker card. So she did a note card size. Again, we've got the DSP, black and white DSP in the background. She colored in the occasional flower, some of the leaves. And then this is stamped and die cut. And then she's got some of those fun little flower embellishments inside. So some super cute sets or samples using that Zoo Crew stamp set. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that catalog tour. I would love to hear what your favorite items, anything that jumped out at you, um, share them in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys are excited about. And if there's anything that you would like me like to see me use, I would love some recommendations as well. I'm always looking for ideas.
All right. So I will be back on Friday morning to kick off my um, stencil series. So I'm doing a month long series on using stencils and different ways to use them. So um, hopefully you'll join me for that. So I will be back here on Friday at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.